Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. SBO is pretty scary. Testing. We're going to come back online. Finally, if I'm not mistaken, sorry about the wait, guys. Ugh. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to VentureBot. Third strike action. My name is Dave. You guys know the deal. It's that game, third strike. I'm not sure who's online. I know that Herb's online. He's in the middle of a, uh, some kind of first two, I think, from the sound of it. Or some kind of set anyway. Maybe a casual set, but a set nonetheless. Let me adjust my mic here a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's go make a lobby. Make sure it's public. Create a lobby. Public. Good. 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 I got challenged to a first to three by uh, by Straight Jagging earlier. I'm not sure if he's still around, though. Yeah, Herb, please fuck him up. Please fuck him up. Bones is online. Bones is busy watching Herb. Oh, they're in the same lobby together, I bet you. Oh, okay. Hey, what lobby did I make? Yeah, I made a public lobby. Crazier's online. Giga Scrub and uh, Mash Legs are both online but not playing. Herb Durkin's in another lobby. Jurito. I'm not sure uh, if he wants to play this. Oh, Hold That's online. He'll probably be already in the lobby, though, huh? Ugh. I'm going to invite these guys. And then wait. I'm on PS4, Bof Bofus Defus. You haven't noticed that yet? Why does that uh, surprise you? What are your thoughts on PS4? You don't like it? The Steam version is pretty good, except that the lobbies don't work, Bofus Tifus. If you have more than two guys in the lobby, it gets really, really, really buggy. So it's good for one-on-ones, but not that good for groups. And I like to play in a group of four, ideally. No, I'm not on PC, man. We played on uh, P we play mostly on PS4. I have the PC version. I have it on Steam. But uh, I stopped playing it because it's just not really that great for streaming with my, with my style of show. If you want to uh, stream like one-on-ones, Steam is fine. But I like to get like four guys together when possible, and that doesn't really work on Steam. Also, I'm not buying any more uh, Capcom games till they fix the Steam version of the game. Cause I'm so pissed off that it doesn't it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Steam version doesn't work. They're still selling it though. Oat seeds. Huh? Good connection seems like. Ooh, it's a lot of damage. Oh fuck, I thought I was gonna whiff. I thought he was gonna be standing up by then. Weak. Final round. Go for it. It's got tyrant punish. He used his meter there. Interesting. Man. How do you how do you play this game again? I forgot how to play this game. He's changing characters. No, he's sticking with Yuri. Temporal Thunder, okay. So a different super this time. About the same effectiveness. I think he can't punch with this one though. 
Not that he was anyway. That's not a punish. Guns by Kara. Wow, it's a crime alley. How you doing, dude? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. No cars. It's pretty respectful. He looks to block after using negatives. Pretty good when they're in the corner, they can't walk out of it. Pretty good, Crime. I'm feeling really tense. I played Metal Slug today as our viewer's choice game. It's very tense. Physically, uh, if not so much mentally, but even mentally too. I'm trying to loosen up a little bit, trying to remember how to play this game, Crime. How do you win at this game? Shippu Jinrai is playing serious now. Now. Careful with that. Never do that. Never reset the power bomb. Let's go boot camp. We got a public lobby here. Card rally. I gotta get that to work today. Don't ever do that. Do that instead. Tick into car grab. I want to see boot camp fight this guy, Oatsies. Because I'm not home, sadly, and my chun is trash. I think boot camp could fight this guy and body him. And I would like to see that. But the man is at work still. Oh, fuck. I'm invisible now. There we go. I'm invisible for a second. Still super three? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Bones the borderline toast, yeah. Everybody's got so many aliases here. Said boot camp is our pedraza. Bones is borderline toast. You guys had a set on Sunday? How do I win? How do I win? Hit buttons when they're not expecting me to hit buttons. And don't hit buttons when they are expecting me to hit buttons, right?
See a little delay there. Okay. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. We kept running into each other in casual lobby, huh? That was a glass jaw! Welcome forward, dude. Go. Don't get hit to straight jacking. You wanna play some straight uh some matches straight jacking? I'm feeling kind of warmed up. So I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember like how you win at this game. Oh, we got uh, Aiden here and Liquid Ted too. This guy's a pretty scary Hugo as I recall. This will let me get warmed up too. Oh, hopefully it's not this laggy the whole time. I forgot this guy's kinda of laggy. Hammer Frenzy. That's a good wake up super. He can we can empty jump into it too. He can combo into it, but I'm not sure he's got those. Fighters ready. Engage. Okay, meet Squasher. Oh, that's just basic. Which I just sick, yeah. Straight Jack is dodging me, that's fine, dude. Nice. Oh, that was so far! Okay, at least a tick into uh, command grab. It's my super. I've been kicking my wake up supers lately. It's gonna be far. Be overcommitted. Ugh. It looks like it is really sick. Juking and jiving, huh? Crossing cats like Iverson. I don't know who he's talking about. Liquid Ted? I don't think so. And then I was like, oh shit, I only get lucky wins off him. Oh, Liquid Ted. A lot of people I've been playing with lately are really sick. Yeah, it's PS4, man. It's a pretty good community here. Yeah, I like a Hugo 2 crime. Wasn't that laggy either. Let me roofie his, the wife and kids and I'll be on good stuff, dude. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh, be careful those power bombs on Oki, man. He made my knees dash. That. Oh, that, that's, that's not a punish. Is that a punish? You win. Shirts versus blouses. 
That's not a punish. EX slash elbow? I don't know, maybe. I don't think so. Would you like some grapes? Oof. Oh, we got Gygus now. A little bit laggy. Quite laggy now. Meteor building montage? Just whipping for a meteor with the medium punch? Ugh! I didn't want that. Oof, can't get away. I've never seen an Alex meter build like him, but just stand there and me meter build? Why not against Hugo? He can't move. Good game to Aiden. I'm not sure why he and I lag so much. We had a good first match. You go can't move. You got a meter uh, meter build. Remember who you're playing. EX. <laughs> Oof, I'm so cold. The Thanksgiving where you at both feet? Both is deep. It's only eight o'clock here, right? If I hit the medium punch first, then super, I could have got it, or need a super. Ugh. I'll be busy tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, Boba Stephus. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. In case you guys can't make it tomorrow. Well, I'm not going to be here tomorrow anyway, but happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Look, her nose. Ah! Ah! Her broken is a uh, chunk. Fighters ready. Engage. Oh, you know the input for spinning bird. my super twice. I'm trying to chip him out. Look, Max, really glass. Fighters, 
Ooh, nice confirm. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm only playing Chun against Chun from now on, guys. I decided since since her picked up Chun and turn on, even if it's Chun against me, I'm just gonna pick Chun. I beat her last time. It was my first time playing Chun ever. I have played Chun what like probably three times in my history of playing the game. She's such a stupid character. Like, why even bother fighting with somebody else? Yeah, well, but, well, I think he's learning Chun. His Chun's not that strong. But, you know, he's trying to learn. He's trying to pick up Chun. I'm gonna pick up Chun, too. Whenever, whenever her points me to Chun, I'm gonna pick Chun. We'll just mirror match it. That way, when I fight other Chuns, I can just pick Chun. So they can, like, why? Let's play some real-ass third strike, right? If you're picking Chun against me, you want to play real third strike, right? You want to play fun third strike. You want to play real third strike. I gotta learn how to play real third strike, I guess. Let's all learn to play real third strike. Why go Chun when you have Mac? Bones, you just love Mac, dude. Who wouldn't love Matt? She got that whole tomboy thing going on. I'm into it. Big Mac with cheese. Mac, Yun, Ken are pretty real. There they are, definitely. Chun, that's that's the real roster, right? Chun, Yun, Makoto, and uh, Ken. The other characters in the roster are for fun. Of course, you got Yurian, you got uh, uh, Oro. He's not even considered. He's not even considered to be like top of the top tiers, but uh, it's pretty scary. I might put Dudley in there, maybe. Now, even then, I feel like compared to the top, top tiers, Dudley has to work too hard. He is a very strong character. Dudley's a very strong character. Very, very strong mix ups. But if you're thinking mix ups, you're thinking Makoto, right? Like, he's just like a, a, a weakened Makoto. That's what it seems to me, anyway. He's a mix up character. You already got that in the top tiers. Already represented pretty well by Makoto. Look at playing Oro, huh? He's got the wrong super. Between the big four and the rest, pretty much. The him and Yurian are like, you know, high tiers. He's got a lot of target combos, you're right. Got a lot of target combos. But then again, so does, uh, I mean, Makoto doesn't need them, though. She's got a lot of black strings without target combos. Excuse me. She has a lot of black strings without target combos. A target combo is basically just a block string, right? Except for if you were trying to anti-air, for instance. No, well, we say tongue in cheek, but I mean, that his uh, you know his target combos are good for anti-airing. It's kind of hard to parry him on jumping for that reason. Yeah, I feel like you know Dudley is a very very strong character, but uh, but Makoto kind of is that character. And Makoto is the one that's. That's uh, the mix up character in the top teams. Not nah, Dudley. It's kind of like, you know, you have your Makoto, then you have your Dudley, then you have your Alex. Right? That's kind of like how that works. It seems to me, anyway. They'd appreciate the, the after taunt characters. After taunt characters? What do you mean, Bones? The Walmart Makoto, yeah. 
He doesn't have a command grab, so he's not that scary in that respect. But he's a mix-up character. I'd say Dudley's a lot more like Alex than Makoto, right? Because he's, he's kind of based around knockdowns, where Makoto doesn't really need, doesn't really need a knockdown. Because the way that her, uh, you know, her Hayate and Karaksa kind of synergize. Joseph Howe! He's not as strong as D's nuts, though. We have to admit that. Dudley? I don't know, dude. He's pretty competitive with D's nuts, I feel like. Probably a 6-5 matchup at worst. I'm not sure who's favorite. When you get uh, the KO and still get an action, like in third... Oh, I see, I see. The after time. She looks based on knockdowns, though. Huh? Well, I think that, yeah, she's strong on knockdowns for sure, but she doesn't need them the way that Dudley does. Well, Dudley doesn't, doesn't really need them that much either. But Dudley seems like he really excels after a knockdown. But Makoto, again, she, can just, she doesn't really need it as much. Yeah, Dudley kind of, again, Dudley's kind of like Alex. He likes to corner, he likes knockdown. Makoto likes knockdown as well. But she doesn't really need the knockdown as bad as Dudley does. And even then, Dudley doesn't really need it either. He can jump in and tick you with like a jumping fierce, and then after that he gets a mix up, basically. So he gets his mix up kind of like Makoto does off of her Hayate. Dudley, uh, Dudley gets way more damage off a single hit though than Makoto. I totally believe that, yeah. Yeah, Joseph Howard. Doesn't quite kill. Dudley has cool stuff. I enjoyed playing him back when I was figuring out which character I wanted. But Dudley is cool. I like Dudley a lot, too. Who in this game do you guys not like? Who would who'd you never, ever play? I don't think I would play Yurian. I mean, it's not that kind of... I don't think I've got a Yurian in me. You think Dudley's mid-range is scarier than Makoto's? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Ah, uh, hell no, dude. His, his mid-range is scary as Makoto. He's got that fucking, what, you talking about fierce? Prepare to strike now. Don't ever do that. Just command grab. A car grab. How did I... How did I... Block that? I went for the car grab. I haven't missed my book of supers a lot lately. I gotta get in the practice that again. If I hit Crouching Lucky into EX Flash Chop, would I be able to beat his standing strong? Probably not. That's why some guys go for the actual target combo, right? Alex has a little known target combo, which is Crouching Light Kick into Crouching Medium Kick. It's like, wah wah! But the timing is really, it's like a one frame thing. And very few Alexes can do it, and it's very little reward, right? Very little reward for very high execution. Oh wow, how's that too far? If he had woke up super there, I would have ate shit. Prepare to strike now.
Oof, boy, what are you supposed to do after that? That was dumb of me, I didn't block that. If you block the Yata, you can punish it back fierce. What's up, Austin? Happy pre-Thanksgiving, guys. Happy pre-Thanksgiving. He missed something he wanted there after that Hayate. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh, bullshit. I was gonna delay that so we couldn't parry it. That kind of creates that beat to headbutt though. I'm kind of thinking that roundhouse is good against Furion. I mean, it stops his headbutt. That's what makes it so sick, right? It stops his headbutt. Final round. Go for it. Oh, he still gets a combo. Fuck. I could at least knock him down. Oh, bullshit. Nice take. Oh, fuck. Now I'm seeing my period timing at all. What's up, Starkey? He's never anti airing me. I should just be empty jumping and then grabbing him when I land. I gotta start doing that, right? I gotta... Here's I gotta think about this, right? No, no, I can't say that's fair. I was gonna say, I need to start uh, only attacking if they're anti-airing. But that's not fair to say, because sometimes they're just hitting a button, or they're trying to backdash something, right? And the Jumping Fierce is big, big damage, and big stun, too. I have to go for the Jumping Fierce. But, if they're parrying it, I have to stop doing it. Right. Because they're parrying it, they're, I have to test their anti airs so I have to make sure that they can anti-air me with a button. Maybe one of, one of these guys that only parries is their only anti-air they have, right? In which case, why even try hitting Jumping Fierce just to throw them when I land? What are they going to do? They can't uh, trip guard me. You know, they can't, uh, I shouldn't say trip guard. They can't, you know, hit my landing if they're always you jumping medium punch. You can't really do that on Yurian, though. That doesn't mean you want me to hit it, you know, like, late against him. But he's so tall, I can't whiff it. I can't whiff it, just like Hugo. I can't do a jumping whiff, medium punch, and then power bomb when I land. Like I would against most of cast. As a fake. The only fake I can do against tall characters is really, really delayed. Does jumping medium kick charge change parry timing? If it's blocked or parried. Oh, change parry time. I'm sorry, I thought you meant to change the charge timing. Uh, if I hit it early enough, kind of. Alex doesn't really have a whole lot of... To me, it seems like he doesn't have a whole lot of options for changing his jump and parry timing. It really depends on the arch you jump at. Like, I can hit mad early with jumping medium kick. But the arch I usually jump at, I kind of only have, like, one option for parry timing. Unless I want to delay my fierce. I can delay my fierce in my roundhouse for a long time. But it's kind of tough. It's kind of, a, it's kind of tough to execute for me. 
I mean, with a certain kind of arch, I can just almost hit jumping uh, Jad early. I think I just like I said, I need to stop. If I'm getting parried, just make sure they can anti air me. If they can't anti air me, then just jump in and grab them. Like, what am I so, why am I want that jumping fierce so bad? So when I fight Kyo, you know what Kyo does? He almost never jumps in fierce. He almost always empty jumps. That's what he likes. He'll jump in fierce if he has a read on you that you're going to be hitting a lot of buttons or whatever. But usually he jumps in empty as his, like, his first jump option. Yo, is Joseph going to the dark side too? Oh, was it Remy? I don't know if I've ever seen this Remy before. Okay, let's see who's got a Remy here. I don't feel like Remy should ever dash in, right? I mean, he's got the cold, the cold blue for that. I feel like Remy's usually just throw LOVs from full screen or near full screen, and, and then they code blue, and then they it's in cold blue. I always say code blue. They always cold blue, and then they're in. Okay, nice parry. Whoa, is that chip? Where do you go for the parry? That was really chip. I didn't know that much chip damage. Holy shit. Yo, know, Remy Super does a lot of chip damage. The Super Tsu. Shimmy myself. supers just mash it out of disadvantage come on herb mix up <gasps> wow good reaction from joseph good reaction i would have done the same thing herb did and i would have died for it just like herb did i'm like i'm gonna jump with this dude i mean yeah it's remy he's a great anti with cold blue with the excuse me, with the flash kick but i mean what's the change gonna flash kick that quickly fuck this guy Boom. Dead. Well, I got the picture. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Well, I got the picture. Hey, Joseph plays the cast? Why is that so hard to punish? I don't know, I've never fight yet. I don't even know what Yang's supers are. Are you ready? Go! I don't know what his third no, I think I know what supers are, maybe. Damn, I'm not missing that. Hopefully he travels forward alive to have a light kick.
I watched a Big Red Dog fight somebody on YouTube last night. And all he did was stomp. The whole fight. I mean, that's how Big Red Dog plays. All he does is stomp. He makes it look pretty good. Of course, if you fight somebody that can parry those, it's gonna not work. But it makes me think that I gotta at least throw it in there every once in a while. But I don't know how to do it. I'm not a stomping kind of Alex. I don't know how to stomp. I don't know how to do it, you know, in a tactical way. I'll do it on wake up sometimes, as an Oki option. But as a way of like mixing my opponent up, I don't know how to how to do it. You can partition it with UOH, it seems pretty tricky to deal with, yeah. Yeah, I think Stomp is one of those things, like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a gimmick. Wow, you really got me. Watching a big red dog use it, you know what struck me, Herb? Is that when you're in mid-air, you can't be poked. Right? How many moves in the game start here and they hit here, but they have no hurt box here? Very few moves, right? Like if you start here, usually you extend the limb out this way and you hit here, right? You extend the limb out, and that limb can get hit. But with Stomp, you go up. And you come down. That's got a pretty long startup, though. I mean, it's reactable with parry. Compared to most buttons in the game, like if you're comparing to a poke, right? Let's say I'm using like a poke. If it's like a poke, then uh, it's a very long startup, you know, easy to parry on reaction. But it's interesting to think that, again, the way Big Red Dog was using it, his opponent was whiffing on him, right? Like his opponent wanted to punch him, but he was gone. He wasn't there anymore. He was in the sky, right? That's interesting to think about. Show me thick AF, Austin. Show me mad thick. I don't know, people really love Chun Li's thighs, guys, but I don't know. I'm not all about that. I mean, they gotta be rock hard, right? I mean, thighs are great. I love thighs much as the next guy, but. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but personally for me, when rock hard thighs, like, you know, not quite as interesting, right? At least for your boy Venkabot. Thick thighs do save lives. But usually you expect when you say thick thighs, usually implying a little bit of softness there. Thank you, Austin. Prepare to strike now. Ooh, whoa! So there's a perfect frame throw, I think, or they're too far. In this game, if you guys throw in the same exact frame, uh, you don't get a throw break, you get a whiff on both sides. You guys both whiff your grabs. That might have been that right there, or it might have been there too far. Who's up, Mexi? That Mexi Makoto. Herb Dirk representing here with the Banana Makoto, probably your best color. Jumps into the Aegis and parries out. That was interesting. I wish he had punished that uh, diagonal fireball, but it's kind of tough. You have to expect it. At least for me, my slow reactions. Could have punished that. It's not easy, though. The blocks! Not a really great punish on uh, Liquid Head's side. She's got meter. Oh, man, the headbutt. What a special. What a special, man. Comes out quick. No, you know, it's invincible from the, you know, from the bottom, underneath. Create priority. Huge hitbox. Man, what a special. Oh, man. Herb loves to wake up with Hayate. It always works for him. 
I'm not sure what the startup is on a yacht. It must be pretty quick. Herb will wake up with that shit. Okay, he tries to go for the uh, for the reset. Oh man, no punish. It was accidental parry there. Okay, Herb's trapped in the corner. Here's Aegis. Should have another one soon. Oh wow, wasn't a combo? Oh, good jump out. Wow, that actually did so far. Throw him! Ah, oh, man, oh, it's EX anyway, good shit. If he gone for the throw, he should've got blown up. EX is instantly active. Mix ups. Oh, into Karaxa? Oh, no! Oh, my God. Yeah, the Karaxa into nothing combo. The truest of combos. Starts around with the Hyate, gets a tick into a grab as well. Let's go. He jumps out of the Karaxa, he gets a punish as well. Because uh, Herb did it kind of late. I've seen Herb buffering parries here. Expecting to tackle, perhaps. Liquid does like to tackle more than most Yurian. Baby Ping Pong. Big life lead here for Liquid Ted, but Makoto's got so much meter. Gotta use it somehow. Here we go. This should be a um, super right here, right? No super! Whoa, that was sick. What's the uh, setting that you're standing fierce, right? Into Karaksa. That's something that Kyo would do. At least to whiff into command grabs. Hey, we got killed. Speak of the devil. Kill like within the command grab. Oh, nice whip punish. Oh, sick. Oh, what was it? My medium punch? Oh, my medium punch is the long range. I thought it was, thought it was fierce. Oh, it's, how do you do her 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 car grab? Is it medium punch? Fighting ready. Engage. Medium kick, I think, right? Oh, okay, medium kick. Okay, I got it. Sick! I have so many guitar covers to street for songs. Oh, did you made Austin? You made these guitar covers, or things you found online? You made them, wow. I know you were a Street Fighter player. I just enjoy the music, perhaps. So, car grab is medium kick into throw. Just the music, I'm not really a Street Fighter player, I just enjoy the soundtrack. It's like vegan music in general. So that's her crouching medium punch. It was under stuff, like low profile stuff. I think I'm playing Chun. Yeah, I'm playing Chun from now on. Exclusively. I'm playing Third Strike, Starkey. I'm playing Third Strike. Why would you want to fight Chun as Alex? Right? Like, why even? She's a boss character. 
What's the point? I can win. I have one. It's just why? Why even go? Why I go through all the work? I go through all the work. You can beat Chun, right? She's beatable for sure. But why? Who cares? Why do it? Just play Chun, that way it's like even playing field. Let's all just play Chun. From now on, if anybody picks Chun, let's just all just play Chun. That's third strike. We'll pick Chun, we'll pick Yun, we'll all play the top tiers. Then we can play some real third strike. No more Hugo. Chun versus Chun is fun versus fun. Enough deluding ourselves. We're gonna be here playing, you know, whatever character we want, right? Let's just play the boss characters. Chun vs. Chun Chun is very fun fun. I hear Echo. Yurian vs. Hugo, is that third strike? Now, Chun vs. Yun. That's third strike. Yun versus Ken? That's third strike. But Hugo versus Yurin. Wow. Chun versus Ken, that's three, that's what I'm saying. Yun versus Chun? Third strike. Ken versus Chun? Third strike. Crazier's here, let's go. Final round. Engage. Makoto versus somebody? That's kind of third strike. I used to think that, you know, that Chun, uh, that Mac had a real shot, I don't know, maybe she still does, of, you know, surpassing Ken in the tier list. Or that they're at least even. But the thing is, is that Makoto, she's really busted. But it's all dice rolls, right? Whereas Ken, he's busted in so far as if you practice him and you get down his confirms and stuff, he gets so much from so little, right? Makoto is really dangerous, but she has really, really, you know, she's really, really just out there. She's really crazy. She takes more risk. She takes more risk. Right? She takes more risk than, than Ken has to. There's no way to play Makoto, to my knowledge, without taking risks. And yeah, she's really strong. But I really just don't see her the same way. The more I watch Third Strike, the more I realize she's not really the same as watching Yun and Sean and Ken. I'm gonna be wrong, I think Mac is strong and everything. But she's not strong in the same way that the other characters are strong. I don't want that. Justin Chun versus Tokido Yurian, that's when I fell in love with 3S. How did I do that? I kind of hope I could round us out of that. Oh, I better could punch that on me and hit. Oh, how do you break that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't do that. There's no with punching a clap. I don't think it's possible with punching a clap. I'm going to look up for me right now. I don't think a clap can be with punish on reaction. How many frames of recovery does it have? Probably, my guess, under five. Under five frames of recovery. Three is my guess. Yeah, it was a really fun tournament space for the glass. Really, really fun. Think about the frame drops, guys. I'm gonna be launching Chrome here. 
I wonder if all this claps are the same recovery. It seems like EX has more recovery, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't. Three S frames, frame data. All right, that's cool. Fighters. I feel like clap has kind of a long startup, right? But no recovery. So if you clap, clap, and the first clap whiffs, you might get punished. Specials. What is it called? Giant Palm Bomber. A Lariat. He has an ultra throw, that's his 360. Okay, shoot down backbreaker, moonsault press. That was a moonsault press. Oh, that's his 360. Okay. Half circle back and roundhouse is ultra throw. Oh, that's where he throws you into the corner. Okay. So, giant palm bomber. It says it has an. Uh, Six frames of recovery. It's longer than it seems like. For the fierce version. Oh, so the lighter they are, the more recovery they have. So you can trade start. So the jab version has a faster startup, but a longer recovery. So the longer the recovery they have, the shorter, excuse me, the longer the startup they have, the shorter the recovery. And the EX version does have the most recovery at 10 frames. And the longest startup. So EX has the longest startup and recovery, but hits multiple times. Okay. Six frames is the fierce one. Longest startup on the clap, shortest recovery. At worst, they're around nine frames. That's a pretty long time, though, nine frames. I wonder how that compares to, I mean, compared to other buttons, that's pretty. I don't know. Why is it move so hard to punish? On whip. Shotokan activates, yeah, the, uh, the rage mode, right? Shotokan just went nuts yesterday. Shotokan performance made me want to uh, go binge eating. Huh? You win. Yeah, I think he wasn't really that angry. It's like Shotokan said himself afterward. It's just, you know, he practices that in the lab all the time. It's just, it's just standard young stuff. I said he was angry to add drama. But it's pretty standard young stuff. Ken, whenever he beats you, I assume that Ken, uh, uh, Kyo, whenever he beats you, he always goes to the character he beats you with, which is really, 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 uh, neighborly. He reacted to my dash up faster than I could react to my, my own dash up. Oh, right, that's the bait. I talked about that, right? Something about seeing that clap whiff, I feel like. Nice late splash. He parried my he parried my wake up and then he went to 360. Oh right, I got lucky there. He missed something up there.
If I just block after that, I wouldn't have died. I wasn't paying attention. He hit me. I should have not hit a button there. I thought I could steal a turn, basically. I feel like Alex's towards Fierce is an important tool against Hugo, but it's very, very delicate, right? It's a, it's a matchup thing, right? There, I guess it's so hard to comprehend, but I guess that you know certain characters have certain moves that are fast at certain spacings, but right? there are certain speed and certain priority, right? Certain space. So in every matchup, you're gonna have different buttons that beat your opponent's option at a certain spot. And I feel like at maximum spacing for Alex's Towards Fierce, he's strong against Hugo. But only at maximum spacing for Towards Fierce. If I'm any closer, then I'm eating whatever he's doing. Right? Whatever he's doing, I, I'm eating at that. He's stronger than me. He's stronger than me in that spacing that's right within Towards Fierce uh, range. But at Towards Fierce range, at maximum, I've got a lot of priority and a really good hitbox. And compared to Hugo's options at that same space, a pretty good startup time. So if I can make him block my Towards Fierce, or I mean, basically, he has to, he has to, he has to block my Towards Fierce, or parry my Towards Fierce at that spacing. But. He can't beat my Towards Fierce, it seems. At that space. And if you block it, it's neutral. If it whiffs, it's a bad sight. If, if, it, if you parry it, it's a really bad thing. If I, if I get my Towards Fierce parried, it sucks. It's got a very really long recovery. And if it whiffs, same deal. Very long recovery. I can get swept or whatever you want to do to me. But if you block it, it's not that bad. And if it hits, I don't know what it is on hit, actually. I'm not sure how plus it is on hit, if it's plus at all. Probably not plus at all, knowing Alex. But it's such a tiny spot where I can hit it. Right? See, I have to hit it, like, right there. See that? That's what I'm talking about. And that whiff, that's really bad. I have to be closer. There you go, make him block it. Oh, don't do that. Ooh, nice. I wonder how much jump startup time varies, right? Because, of course, that's a mix-up, you know, the jumping, uh, jumping fears to splash. It traps you on the ground, right? Because if you hold up, if you hold up, then you'll escape his command grabs. But you have so much recovery time, you know, block stun recovery, you're in so much block stun, that if you try and jump out of anything else he does, you're going to eat shit, right? He's, you're even grounded, right? You don't even get, like, a reset out of it. You get to full combo. You're stuck on the ground. So I feel like, you know, I think Alex has seven frames of jump startup. 
I wonder how that varies from character to character. Like, I wonder how much jump start Chun Li has. Probably fucking two or three, knowing her, right? That way, you'd have a lot easier time jumping out of things compared to other characters in the cast. Or what if they're all about uniform? I mean, they couldn't be uniform, right? So I know that I feel like uh, Necro has a long time getting off the ground. And you know, Yun must have a very short time getting off the ground. Right? You know, I feel like picking top tiers is not that frowned upon in the FGC, right, Glass Draw? It's just considered to be a practice you just, you just do, right? You just do that. But you know what's weird to me? I feel like counter picking is looked at less favorably. Right? If you counter pick somebody, it seems like, you know, it's like, oh, this motherfucker's counter picking, right? I mean, on the one hand, you understand why that makes sense, right? For one thing, they reward the player for knowing multiple characters. If you learn multiple characters, then you should be rewarded by being able to counterpick, right? That way you can say, oh, you're playing this guy, I can play this guy and beat you with this character. But it seems like there's a stigma about counterpicking. But you would think that same stigma would carry over... Got a bad punish there. ...to playing top tiers. Because Chun-Li has a favorable matchup in this game against every other character. She's a, basically a counterpick for everybody. Except for the other top tiers. There are very few matchups where she's 5-5. Five, five. Everything else is at least 6-4, oftentimes 7-3. Why is the fucking Necro Herb drinking? Oh, there you go, I got the taunt. No, that's creepy, I didn't know it made the music die down. I was like, what the fuck? There's some kind of... I guess Kill finally figured it out. I've been trying to figure that out for a long time, I think. How to do it on 30th anniversary collection. There's a, a pad pattern you can enter that makes poison come out and start it around. That's really weird. Okay, wake up supers. Liquid Ted's Yang. I would never play Yang. I'd never play Yuri and I'd never play Yang. Are you ready? Go. I think most of the characters in this game I have a, you know, some interest in. I probably would never play Oro. I'd never play Oro. Oh, everybody else in this game though, I could see myself playing at some point. I don't know the details of the game in the main screen tell you how to do oh, really? Okay. Oh, nice reaction. Pretty good damage. I can see why it doesn't get as much damage as, uh, as 720. But look how much... He has so much meter. How to fight Q, yeah. I've never fought Q before, Glass Chomp. I felt like one time I got it, but I didn't. I thought one time I did get it, but I didn't. I guess I needed need more score, probably. I needed to have higher score. One time I beat the whole game without having to use one continue, and I was like, oh, shit! I'm gonna fight Q now? And they're like, nah, son. It's like, fuck. I mean, Q have a, such a good connection today. No lag at all. Ooh, fast guy, a huge hitbox. I hit a button after that. No oh, man, that's so stupid of me. Holy shit, that's so stupid. Oh, 
Hyper bomb skill, Venka. No. That was bad. Whoa! Beat that clean? Oh shit, what did I just block? I thought I could punish whatever I was, I just blocked. Nice parry. You win. I feel like I can play footies with Hugo. I don't know. That's what I feel like today. I mean, Kyo is just a really strong footsies player, right? So maybe I'm losing, obviously, but maybe if I fought another Hugo, I could do that. Maybe Alex can win against Hugo and footsies. I don't know. I feel like Hugo's footsies are so good. I feel like Hugo's weakness is that, you know, he doesn't have very good uh, anti-airs at all. And he doesn't have uh, any mobility at all. His confirms are kind of tough too. Like, you know, he has to. I don't know. Does Hugo. What's his confirms? Uh, he can confirm off of a. Uh, off of a clap and off of a jumping roundhouse. That's all I've ever seen. I've only ever seen him confirm off those two things. Into Hammer Mountain. I feel like, you know, Hugo's a low-tier character, but I feel like he has good pokes. I can't imagine him getting out-poked by anybody. Like, consistently, anyway. He has such good hitboxes on all his buttons. Well, I shouldn't say all the buttons, but, you know, the ones he uses for, for footsies. His five hands, his clap, his crouching medium kick. And his jumping fierce is really oppressive. Although I could try and focus on parrying that, but that's why that's why Kyo jumps in empty, right? Because he's used to fighting stronger players than me. He will probably parry the jumping fierce uh, pretty consistently. Seems like an easy parry. But if I was gonna parry, I would need to parry it into uh, like a standing medium punch into the uppercut, right? I gotta work on that too. That's something I gotta work on fundamentally speaking. I gotta start anti-airing not just a medium punch, but a medium punch into an uppercut after a parry, maybe even. I never try and parry jump-ins pretty much ever, unless I'm their neutral jumping. Ninja has a very long recovery. Herb could have got a nice juicy combo right there. Jumping, was that jumping roundhouse? I think it was. If you jump back and do it, it's a different animation, I think. There are some buttons like Makoto's jumping medium kick where it's like just a uh, defensive jump, a defensive button. It's really hard to beat it in the air. I don't think Alex has any of those. So I think closest to Alex has probably his jumping roundhouse. Now. Wow, I actually hit him so tall. That's yeah, so tall. Being tall is hard in this game, man. And being small is good. You know what's crazy to me? I always say this, right? But I find it funny that with enough time with this game, you start to see what qualities are good. 
Right? What, are, what are just good? What does it mean to be good? What, is it, what does it take to be good? And you think the developers have some idea what those were all about, but they gave everything to Chun. She has amazing pokes. She's got the best walking speed, or a pretty good walking speed. Maybe the best. She's got, you know, an amazing super. Tiny, tiny little hip, uh, tiny little hurt box. Probably one of the best confirms in the game. In terms of, you know, the, the cancelable frames. Insane, a lot of her moves are very safe, right? Very, very fast recovery. You would think that they would know enough about what makes a character strong in this game to not give it all to one character. I feel like, I don't know, maybe they didn't know at all. Maybe it was just pure luck this game came out the way it did. Maybe they had no idea what they were doing in terms of balance. Maybe, um, maybe they just didn't care because Chun was such a late addition to the cast. They just didn't care what they gave her. I've heard a theory that I think is kind of interesting. Some people say that in fighting games, the most broken of characters are oftentimes that way because they were created with a certain play style in mind, like a certain uh, function in mind, but then players very quickly found out a better way to use them that the developers did not expect. Right? Maybe they thought that she was going to play this way, and they, de they developed her for that, but didn't realize that when played this way, she's like incredibly strong. I don't know. I don't know, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that Chun came out the way she did in this game. Why did, how did she get everything? How did she get everything? Can I, I think I can sweep you go with a poke, kind of. Kind of. Don't do that. Whoa. I shouldn't just go on for the period. Oh, don't do that. Over time, every once in a while, I remember that Alex has a standing medium kick, a standing light kick. And I start to see why other Alexes use it. Not because it's, you know, a, a, a stupid, a foolproof. It's not. The reason I never use standing medium kick, a standing light kick, is because it's parable high or low. I, I don't like moves that are parable high or low. And it gives me nothing if it hits, right? I don't get, I don't get any kind of you know, combo or even all, any damage, really. But it interrupts my opponent's attacks. And it's very fast, right? And I never like to use it until, you know, I'm kind of experimenting with it a little bit recently. And I'm trying to see that it rounds out Alex's buttons, right? In situations where he would otherwise have nothing, he has standing light kick. And that will stop my opponent's startup and make them respect me. It helps me get in, right? If I can knock them out of their button, then that's one more reason for them to block. And if they block, I can walk up closer and get my car grabbed. But they won't always block, of course. Engage. 
But if they do, I can walk up closer. So it's like, it's right at that spot where Alex has nothing else. I feel like, you know, at that range, I am too close for a crouching medium kick and too far for a crouching light kick. Now, crouching light kick is a great button. It's only parryable low. And it's plus two on block or hit. I mean, it's not really that great, but compared to like crouching strong for you know Shodo or whatever. But it is Alex's basically his only move that's ever puts plus on block. And his very few moves are even plus on hit. So hit being plus two on block or hit is kind of nice. It's not a whole lot of damage, but again, it's a true low. You can't stand block it, and you can't uh, parry it high. Which is nice. You win. Mr. Demon, huh, Kyo? Standing light kick. I mean, it's if I did it too much, it would be parried, right? If I do it too much, it's parryable. Are you going over who died? I will show you the power of Mac now. I'll beat my, my dipping medium kick. Good games, kill. What are you making, kill? Something delicious? Or something kind of whack? Maybe got crazier. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? Sick. Come I can't get my parries on wake up anymore. Lo mein and chicken katsu, huh? China with Japan. Fighters ready. Engage. Don't ever power bomb. Badass Asian market that opened up 10 minutes from me. Oh, let's go. Why is it so badass? Heaven on earth. Now.
Where's my fucking parry? You win. How do I parry on wake up? Am I hitting it too? I'm hitting it too early. I'm hitting it too early, I guess. I'm hitting it too early. Always fresh, cheap prices, beautiful shop, all workers, and convenience. Does sound nice. If you block that, it's kind of like uh, the knee drop. If you block a certain way, it doesn't bounce. Now. Oh, fuck. He parried me after every single time he launched. But it's hard, I get pushed back so far, it's kind of hard for me to car grab. He launches. I don't think I can back fierce me either. He's, he's down parrying, right? So he's gonna. I don't know, maybe I can. Maybe, I, maybe he'll stand. He has to stand to get the entire parry animation, right? He has to crouch and then let go, and then he has 10 full frames of a down parry. So if he's down parrying, I should be able to back fierce him. You shouldn't get underneath it, I don't think. I get sushi from this Chinese restaurant, it's pretty good. Here in Lansing, we got a lot of uh, Vietnamese people. That's our predominant Asian race, I think. Now, at MSU, we got a lot of Japanese people. I'm not sure why exactly. Uh, they love MSU. Yeah, we got some, you know, Chinese people. I feel like, I know for a fact that the Chinese restaurants around here are oftentimes owned by Vietnamese people. Because my, back when I was in high school, uh, friend, uh, my father's, my friend's father owned one of these places and she was Vietnamese. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, Chinese food places around here has got all uh, Hispanic uh, cooks. Okay. Best round of the game, round three. That's a crazy button, man. That's one of her specials, right? Or it's like a command normally. Your little step forward into a punch and it steps back so far afterward. Oh, almost blocked it! Tricky Richard Nixon. How am I gonna beat this guy? By blocking more? He's parrying me, right? He's parrying me a lot. So I need to just not attack as much. With buttons, anyway. Towards fears. That's our towards fears. It's like a command normal. Like, it seems to me like it's a special. But we talked about this before, right? That it's not really a special. It looks like a special. It behaves like a special. Go. 
Whoa! Okay, we lost crazier. Thought I got bodied again. Last night I lost my connection due to an outage in my area. I thought that was gonna happen again here. Probably same thing probably happened to him, or his dog tripped over his Ethernet cable. I could be too. I need to punish those if I block them. Oh, interesting trade. Oh, what? Poor Makoto. I almost, I would never say that normally. But that's kind of a whack anti air. Don't ever power bomb this card grab. Whenever I see a Makoto with uh, EX Yate, it's like it hurts. Even though I hate Makoto. It's such a weird hitbox. It's only hitbox above her head, right? There are ways to hit it like on the ground, but they're like they're like uh, they're very much edge cases. Like I even had a button overhead. Right? I hit that fierce. I should have had a hurt box overhead. You would think. But the fierce goes right through her because she's got iframe. It went right through her, but her attack went right through me too. So it was whatever. I can sweep aura. Okay, I'm done. Kind of. I like the backdash a lot. What a lot of fucking damage. That's something I can do. Yeah, if I block, if I block his crouching, if I block his crouching fierce, and he goes for the pair, the down pair, I can stomp him. Right? That's that would hit him just at the right time. Block a down parry and then stomp. Huh? Or block a uh, crouching fierce and stomp. I had the spacing right though. Plus I EX, of course. Oh, you have a Sun Herd? Okay. You're Sun a Taunt? Let's go. No, your son's pretty fucking good. Is this really your son, Herb? This ain't really your son. I 
I think he tried to fucking hit my limb there with the fierce. You got super. I imagine your son being really young. That's why I'm like, oh, we got super. At the same time, it's like... Uh, kids are pretty strong in video games. I always forget, like... Nice. His name is Kieran? Really? How do you pronounce that? It's a pretty unusual name. Go. Well, he's a man after my own heart <laughs> with, the, with the blacks. Make sure he knows that you can you can block without having to walk backward. You can just hold down back to block. He, he likes to see how far he walks away. So I can just walk him into the corner. All right. you, can just, you can just block like this too. Kids opening his bedroom on PS3, he's 12, huh? Not too shabby. Oh, we is that's an online edition on PS3 or Xbox 360. Yeah, it seems like he's got an idea of what he's doing for sure. I like. I respect the blocks, right? He's not just hitting all the buttons. TV Industries? I think you've been here once before, right? To my knowledge. Yeah, he needs to, I mean, he's, he's holding backward a lot. But he doesn't have... He has no offense at all, right? Kind of like your boy. It's kind of like your boy. Look at him, he's fucking spacing me out. There you go. I can't car grab him because he's walking backward. Should be playing Chun as walking backward, yeah. Not too shabby. He needs to have more confidence. Yeah, I know, I know, Kyo. He's the top of the leaderboards, yeah. I know. We can all learn from him. Just walk away, walk back in. You've been here a few times. I always enjoy your enthusiasm and eagerness for knowledge, whether it be explanatory way or ex uh, exploratory or explanatory. How about the salt? I'm not always that eager. I wish I were more, uh, I wish I that I were more uh, level-headed. I get pretty salty, too. But I do love this game. Thank you, TV uh, Industries. I love this game, but I do get pretty salt. I've always played with him, but he stopped mashing buttons like a madman about a few months ago. Okay. Yeah, he's got to learn how to hit buttons, right? He needs to learn how to hit buttons again. But it, you know, I said you have to choose when you use them, right? Not just hit them randomly. Because the way he moves is like he's very defensive, right? And I respect that. Yeah, as somebody who's a very defensive player, I respect that. All buttons and no buttons. He's got to learn to get into where his buttons are strong and hit that little forward. Yeah! I'm not just looking at 
I might be able to hit that sweep after all. Oof, that's a lot of damage. You win. Okay, rage versus herb. Tatsu. Oof, exactly. Tatsu. Oof. He's gonna get one more while I step outside. Good stuff, man. Isn't it? Oh, I think it's probably Rage. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, mute that. Yeah, Rage, can you hear me? You got mad static, my man. Get it on now. Well, it's a pretty long uh, character select screen. A little, little creepy. Yeah, you can always tell when Rage shows up because of the. Uh, is this better? Hey, it sounds a lot better, man. What's up, dude? Good, good. <laughs> Kyo says the ring. <laughs> Rage crawling out of the TV. I can see that. Yeah, this is Herb Durkin's son, his 12 year old son. Playing here, as is Ken. Uh, can't brutalize him then. Okay. Yeah, I guess recently he stopped hitting random buttons. He's starting to move around, but he doesn't. Uh, I feel like he doesn't know how to aggress at all. Right? He's starting to. He stopped aggressing with random buttons. Now he needs to start learning how to get into a position and use his buttons. Free donuts. How you been, little creepy? You still playing Street Fighter Five? Probably moved on to bigger and better things now, like Third Strike. Oh. What is this I see? Okay. Alright, Ross Sweps. Okay, there you go. He likes the roundhouse a lot. Ooh, did he really... I think that's probably an excellent flame here. Okay, nice combo. SA3 whiff punish. That would be sick if I was. I doubt it, though. It seems like random SA3. Oh no, using SA2 gets me over to SA1. Oh, I got Synapse! Oh my god. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, to my knowledge, I think that Herb's gonna be back now. Fulabi coming to a theater near you. Rated M.A. <laughs> it's not random if it works. I don't know about that, Dr. Nouse. A lot of random stuff does work, especially with Makoto. Herb's going Chun, huh? Don't go Chun, man. Z Rage will go Chun if you go Chun. Come on, it's too obvious. I want to do it because I, I missed it the first time, the EX. I, I know, I know, I know. I That's why I knew you would do it again. I just want to prove I can do it. Go. To myself. I was like, he has to go for it again. <laughs> Any, like, third strike player would definitely go for it twice. <laughs> I know what I did, damn it! Ooh, nice! Oh. Let it confirm. No. Okay, I'm curious. Can you confirm reuse low, uh, low forward? Uh, no, I, I can't. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of fucking damage. Hell yeah. Can't believe that killed. Final round. Now. Oh, 
Oh, oh, cause it hit me, right. If I had blocked it, that would've been a punish. Ah. Can't believe it didn't fucking work. That's being racist. Oh, it's supposed to be EX. Got him. Stardom Young's is her. So, Rage, how do you fix your mic, just out of curiosity? Oh, it's that, like, interference yeah. is um is the the 4G. Oh, okay. So I just put it on airplane mode and I connect gotcha, to I gotcha, I gotcha. Speaking of Chun, we got Synapse Air. here. He's a Chun main. Let's see how my ride does. Or should I chun chun his ass? Uh chun chun him. I wanna see chun chun. If you if you would please. If not, I can understand. I feel like your chun could win. But I'm curious. How Synapse deals with Cause Rage's chun is very, very defensive. And I feel like Synapse's chun is kind of an all around for better or worse. I feel like uh, Rage's way he approaches the game is very suitable for a Chun player. What kind of mic does Rage have that gets fucked up by 4G? It's it's on his phone, plugged into his phone, Kronos, that's why. It's a, it's like an analog mic plugged into a phone. To my knowledge. I feel like Rage plays Chun like, you know... The way Chun is, is oftentimes played at a very, very high level, which is just real, real lame and defensive. Because Rage is a very reactive player. He likes to play on you know, whiff punishes and and basically watch what you do and then he does something. Which I think that's how Chun really excels. Yeah, Kronos, I know. Me too. That's why I asked. I'm a big sound guy. I'm kind of curious how the what caused that interference. Now I know. Oh, Mr. Confirm. Super. Good parry. Could have supered off that though. If you hit that, if you hit that flip kick, you can super. Nah, <laughs> he was raped that one. You win. Yata. Yata yata. Yeah, Herb's been learning Chun too. Herb is a Makoto main, but he's been learning Chun. Nice. Uh oh. Gooky. The Gooky. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've heard that scene is Gooky once or twice before. Is he a Tatsu expert? I don't think so. Oh, there you go. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, Rage has uh, some self made tech where he can shore you between the hits of the Tatsu. That's something that Rage likes to do. I just realized how long it's been since I last played Duds this round. How long has it been? Years? Weeks? Months? Ah, that was sick. That's his close strong, right? Yeah, to the ribs. Now. His close jab's like a little elbow, right? Okay. Okay, get the taunt. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, this is this must be his uh, his son. That's what Herb meant by not me. I'm up next. Okay. That explains everything. Four months or something. Hasn't he last played Dudley? But Kronos, aren't you a Makoto player? Am I wrong about that? We got the air fireball at least. He's a Makoto player, okay. So why are you so concerned about how long since you played Dudley? I haven't played Dudley since, you know, years, basically. I only played him once uh, a while back at this game. You 
Okay. Where did you await Shin to uppercut? Or far UH works too, you don't have to really delay it. I started with Dudley, hit a stump, played Mac, picked up Dud again as a secondary. Okay. your back was best to watch your front. Now. <laughs> now. Oh, I should have just uh, put him in the corner. Back of the brain. Kind of makes uh, more sense if I need to play a slower character. I'm playing Dudley. I never fucking quick ride. I try every time. Ah, oh, man, I missed my medium punch. I literally, my finger hit the spot beside it on the stick. <laughs> I literally missed it. <laughs> oh, too late. Do it. to roundhouse. I'm trying to experiment with roundhouse. Especially it seems like it works well against the jump in sometimes if I can space it just right. Yeah, I have no idea how to use that move. It's a very mysterious move, but I feel like it's one of those things where if I were to figure out how to use it, it would be a huge asset, man. Like the roundhouse does so much damage and so much stuff. And if they block it, it pushes them like fucking full screen. Maybe grab counter? I don't know. Yes, yes. If they empty jump, I can kind of use it if I use it at the right time. That'll blow up grab attempts, like empty jump grabs. Or if they're gonna dash up and grab, that works too. Yeah, I literally miss your button. Yeah, my, my middle finger came down right to the upper right of the uh, medium punch button. I hate that shit. Oh my God. That almost never happens. Usually, usually when I say it's I miss like, a button, I usually mean like, I hit it too early or whatever. But in this case, my finger came down on the plastic. I was like, how the <laughs> fuck did that happen? <laughs> oh, my ribs. <laughs> That's that bullshit. All right. <laughs> Ooh, wow, a little bit early there on the car grab. Good block strings there. That's a combo. It's confirmable too, that's confirm. Always my You awaken into uppercut. You have to space it just so though. Or hit it kinda late. I'm sorry, I said delayed earlier. You don't hit the delayed DOH, you hit an early DOH to get a you know a close late medium. The earlier you hit, the later you can. And the earlier you hit the buttons, the later you can hit it on their Oki. Then you get a chew combo. In fact, I confirm it. Thanks for the clip, uh, Synapse. Uh -oh. Bad confirm. Saves meter down to punish. Turn back fierce is high and low parry, right? I don't know, Pronounce. I, I imagine so. Animation would imply that, but I have no idea. I've almost never seen it parry because of the way that it hits. You have to be so close to even, you know, it have to be so close. I don't think I've ever seen it be parried. Maybe on Oki. Straight says it's only high, huh? Got him. He's broke, says Straight Jack. Shit. Oh, is that a punish? Oh, that was sick! 
<laughs> and totally intentional. Sick and totally intentional. Yeah, that's pretty weird, Synapse, you're right. Kikokin is like one of the more unsafe fireballs, right? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's all relative. It's like how you use it. You can't be in the face, but if you throw it in the right way, you can. I think because of the dash, when I hit back fierce, I got a fireball. When I hit back fierce, I went for a dash, I got a fireball. I got you. That shit caught me, though. <laughs> so, what? I said, like, where'd he go? As I'm falling to my doom. Chun's balanced. Uh, she has one of the worst EX moves in the game. Which EX move is that, uh, Kronos? One of the worst? It's a Koken, maybe? Yeah, you use Fireball. I find it funny when Chuns this. go for that. As soon as you see Chuns go for EX Fireball, you're like, okay, what did you get out of that exactly? I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of slow and kind of intimidating in that respect, kind of keep your opponent pinned down a little bit if they're in the right spot. But what did she really get out of it? Or our local Chun player says this, and I'm not sure if he's joking. Fireball is only used to make SA2 less parryable. EX Fireball? I usually see that with regular Fireball. Fuck, that was uppercut. Or maybe you mean like from far away, like you throw it out and then you just raw super. That'd be kind of interesting, like for Chip maybe? Raw, raw EX Kikoken and then Super 2? Then what are they going to do about it, right? Especially if they're... Wow. You can throw the startup of spinning bro, oh, that wasn't DX. He's getting blown up. Out of the corner. No meter. She doesn't get a whole lot of flow forward unless she has meter. Ooh. Ooh, man, dash of crouching is short uh, crouching uh, jab. Punish that? Oh man! Tattoos are not safe. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be desperate. Yeah. Yeah, so we see the Rager trying to get into the low forward range so we can block low forward and hope the super comes out. Yep. At least I'll do it. Though. Can he really confirm it? Hmm. I should let it hit me once just to see if he could do it, but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> well, he wasn't doing it on black. Maybe he was trying to confirm it. Yeah. The only way to really test is to let it hit you, but I didn't think I had enough health for it, so I was like, fuck it. Yeah, that was insane damage. Fighters ready. Engage. Ooh, that's far. Oh, that's where I buried that. Wow, I hit the fucking recovery in my standing, uh, my standing, uh, my far beam kick. How come I can't punch that with medium punch anymore? Like, it doesn't, I hit it too early. Don't do it. 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 Don't do
I was watching you guys. Oof. Oof. You win. My right, you got a little bit better. I don't remember. Just... Yeah, he was alright. Now he's okay. <laughs> he was alright. He elevated from alright to okay. Kronos says, oh, by the way, I learned about a 3S ROM hack rebalance yesterday. Read a bit of stuff about it, and it seems pretty real. Would be interesting to try it out. What do you mean, like, Ford Strike? Yeah, I'm interested in playing. I, I hate this game's balance. I really hate it. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to play a ROM hack, because the community is already small enough as it is. There's not a whole lot of 3S players in the world. You gotta keep them all in one game. I like a, a lot of people complain about like character balance, but I think there's more of a player balance that's an issue. It's like people with like a lot of experience can you know be very daunting for like certain players. I agree, but it doesn't neutralize. There's, there, of course, there's a, a, a player matchup as well, obviously. But even then, you're not gonna see a low tier beating a high tier in high level play almost ever, right? Oh, it, it, it happens, but not, not often. Especially like in the set. Like Cold Cup, it might happen because it's like one and done. Yeah. But, but if it's like a first to five, first to ten, it's. Yeah. It's rare. I mean, even then, I guess maybe what I should say, maybe it'd be more fair to say, you don't see a high tier beat a top tier all that often. Right? That's, that's the real problem. The, the problem Every game has got balance issues, and there's no game that's perfectly balanced. There's gonna always be top tiers and bottom tiers. But I think the problem people have with Third Strike is that the top tiers are so high up compared to the other characters in the game. Like, they're in a league of their own. Where usually you see Grand Finals is pretty much just all, you know, Chuns, Yuns, uh, Ken. I must say, a certain part, it's not fair to compare, you know, you can't really compare, you know, Sean to Chun. But you don't really see that much Dudley, you don't see that much you know, uh, Urian, compared to the top of the top tiers. Oh. There's a big disparity, it seems, between the high tiers and the top tiers. Oh. Got me. Snaps. Aw, snaps. <laughs> Aw, snap-ums. So, Rage, you never played on Steam, right? No. Yeah, so you're not really familiar with Synapse. Synapse only got uh, only got PS4 recently. I'm more of a Steam player. Yo, people are rolling in on PS4 after I think it was what was the last tournament? Um, I'm sorry, Synapse. Which is pass? Synapse says he's always had PS4. He doesn't really use what it that often. Oh, what tournament just passed? It was uh... Canada Cup. Yeah, Canada Cup. After Canada Cup, yo, people started rolling in on PS4. Yeah, like, wow. and they did their job, right? The whole, the whole point of it was to promote the PS4 version of this fucking game. Yeah, but I mean, like, even people from, like, um, Steam is coming over to PS4. Like, it's, it, the hearing is, like, a much more stable version. Yeah. They're using it at tournaments, like... But well, you know what's fucking salty, though, man? We had a tournament here yesterday, as you know, and it was really unstable on PS4. It was unbelievably oh, really? unstable. I couldn't fucking believe it. After, I mean, tonight's been fucking great, as always. It's like the tournament curse. It was like fucking Steam yesterday. I would say out of what we had, like, probably, uh, what, close to 30 matches? I would say that, like, five of them we couldn't spectate. It was, it was ridiculous. I don't think it's the patch, because it's been, it's been since the patch came out, this became a problem. So I feel like it's not the patch, it's something else with the game. Something with the way the network code works. Maybe Sony's changed some shit around behind the scenes or something. Pissing me off. Yeah, right. Just right. make a good game. Love hate relationship. Yeah. So Kronos says, I honestly think that just turning down the big four a bit, tuning them down would be a great improvement to the diver uh, diversity. Yeah, but how do you tune them down, Kronos? Again, balance is a very sensitive thing in a fighting game. Like, it's harder than you would think, I guess, to just tune them down. But I will say though, like with all the balance issues, there there is one great equalizer, and it's the parry. You know, so no matter like what the opponent is doing, like there is always like a way out of it. Compared to most fighting games, and I feel like yeah, exactly. It's over, to me, it seems like it's overselling it to the equalizer because it is a big risk. So basically, if you're playing a weaker character, you have to play it riskier to take down a top tier, which sucks. 
but compared to other fighting games where a top tier is just totally unbeatable, this game is not a factor as much. Oh, yeah. You know, they, that's one thing that I drew me to Third Strike is that it was always an option. Like, you know, you always had a way out of something. Like, you know, if you think about, like, the worst thing that Chun can do to you, there's a way around it if you think about it. It might be a little hard and it could be, like, you know, not, you know, something you want to do, or but you, there is a way out of it. That, that's what I like about Third Strike. Ooh, he got me. That was so dumb. I need to stop doing that power bomb. I'm gonna start trying to car grab instead. But it's in my hands. SA2 scale more, huh? Chun's SA2? Chun's pretty strong. Excuse me, not Chun, uh, uh, Makoto. Makoto's SA2, he's talking about. That's the Abade, I think, right? Yeah. The Touch of Death super. Well, I got the picture. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. I do best. How did I get out of that? That's not safe. Yeah, zero counter is rage, yeah. Are you ready? Go! Oh, wow. Oh shit, he didn't block that. The corner. Oh fuck. idea. Oh, how did I? Should have died for that. Oh. The chops. Classes, I don't know why, but I always confuse him and a bar able, huh? Kimmix? Why is that rage? Why do people confuse you with Kimmix? Play a lot of Shodos? Kimmix is pretty strong. I don't think I've ever beaten Kimmix. I only fought him a few times. It's always a pleasure. Engage. Oh, 
Oh, he still, still got recovery there. I could have punished that. The so glass house is really hungry that first to ten, huh? Are you in for? Are you into it, Herb? My first ten glass jaw? Don't power bomb! I only got the punish. Oh man. Now if that were Chun Li, that wouldn't have worked. I can't believe I hit her crouching fierce. With my jumping fierce. I feel like she could have a little profile underneath that. <laughs> ben Breezy talking shit. So last job's in for first to ten. I'm not sure if Herb's into it. Herb's usually down for first to ten as well. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. He loves first attempt. Let's go, Herb. He loves it. Are you ready? Go. I don't mind losing. You gotta get your licks in. You versus Shotokan, huh? That was a tough ass first to 10. That was, I didn't even redeem the loss. That was such a close match. Okay, I'm gonna fight uh, Raid one more time. If he's still here, then we're going to uh, um, get this first to 10. You're online, right, Glass, uh, glass Jaw? Oh, he's, he's, he has to get his uh, kids to bed. Okay, we gotta give him a second. Let us know when you're ready, Glass Jaw. I lost that that other game. Oh, what the Prepare fuck? See, I'm gonna lose again. Now. I tried to do pink shot. I gotta have pink shot, man. Give him some milk and night light and tell him night night. Knock him out. Jabs in the neck, punch the nose. Only, I think Sean can't punish the X Flash unless he has Super 3. Ooh, wow. Oh, bullshit. Do you have to block that? How's that gonna whiff? His jump is like super high, it's like weird. Maybe that's why. You know what's a fucking high jump? Fucking Chun Li, man. The Chun Li is a weird thing where yeah. if she uh, applies pressure on me and then neutral jumps in my face, I can't medium punch her out of the air at the same time I can for every other character in the game. Like, I'll medium punch and she'll just yeah. whiff on her. Because she's so high up. She's so high above me. She's so lovely. Yeah, certain characters have like weird ass properties. I think her legs have no hurt no hurt back, that's my thinking. Because she kind of lets her legs dangle when she jumps, so I feel like I hit my medium punch and doesn't do anything, just whiffs. My youngest, the seven month old, is a fiend right now. Fiend for what, dude? What's he fiending for? Seven months old, huh? 
So Herb has a 12-year-old. 12-year-old son. What was your son's name again, Herb? Pretty interesting name. It was like Kieran. Never heard that name before. My uh, old Japanese school, you know, my Japanese teacher, she named her son Skyler, and I think that's the worst name you could ever give your kid. That's such a douchebag name to give a young boy. Skyler. She's nuts. <laughs> Hard to get her to, to pass out, right? Seven months old. My oldest is six. He had uh, a six-year-old and a seven-month-old at least, huh? Skyler. What a name. Maybe I'm being overly judgmental. But Skyler? Call him Kmart. His last name is Martin, huh? Oh, you call him Kmart, huh? Because when you say his name was Kieran, you call him Kmart. Huh? Oh, I got you. I got you. His last name is Martin. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kmart. That's kind of sick, actually. Kieran Martin, aka Kmart. Final round. Now. now, Zoe is a godlike name. I think no one's going to argue with that. Zoe is one of the best girl names of all time. Kmart, that's sick. Seems like it's Herb's son again, but I don't know. Maybe not. No, no, it's not. See him for the parry buffer. I don't know. The, the walking back. This is this is his son. He has a huge health deficit. Herb Durkin kin. Yeah, get in there. He's pretty good at escaping the corner. No punish. But you want to counter show you. Oh, look at that! Went for the grab! Sick parries. Interesting. Kmart. So Herb and Center are taking turns, so that was him. I think he's getting a little more confidence. A little more hitting a few more buttons. Got Sean Mears. Oh, there we go. Pink outfit. Look at the cow Yo, that, that gi is so sick. Everyone's done perfect all day. There's a guy on Steam whose name is Pink Gi Sean is top tier, and he bodied me. <laughs> Pink Gi Sean is top tier. He just fucking destroyed me. I was like, damn. Go. Okay. So I feel like the wheel kick must be safe on block, right? It's just parryable on reaction. Or that. But you see a lot of you see a lot of Sean's go for the raw wheel kick a lot. You know, it's an okay button. It's got anti-air properties, kinda nice. You can't really jump over it, which is cool. Oh, what? Whoa! You confirm that? That was sick. Ooh! Ooh, confirmed. I don't know. We're getting ahead of ourselves now. <laughs> Look, Katie Alpha. None of his moves are safe on block. I don't know, Katie Alpha. I mean, you know, safe against maybe maybe the unsafe against like supers. I mean, against you know somebody like Alex. Without bar. In a game where some supers start up with zero frame startup, I feel like it's kind of rough to talk about what moves are, what moves are safe sometimes. Because against, you know, like, 720, you know, no move is safe unless it pushes you back far enough. That lag, some BS. Yo, free cancel abuse. There's no lag here. Or is there lag on the stream? Oh, that's a pretty good connection so far. How you doing, Demon? No more lag than you always get on a, you know, a... Uh, LCD. Well, I got the picture. Well, yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting for this. Prepare to strike. 
Now! See, I shouldn't go for a car grab when I jumped in like that. Oh, oh what? That hit the that hit the crouching fierce hit his roll. Yeah, a lot of stuff hits Go. it. Through my airborne frames. Don't see that very often. Ooh, nice. Trade. So close yet so far. I can't believe that traded. Poor Sean. <laughs> There's no way that should have traded. Yeah, like uh, I love it though. <laughs> uh, let me unready. Get some other people up in here. Yeah, there you go. Can you imagine if I had won that trade? Well, no, it would have been. A, I mean, if it would have been double KO. I mean, if it been double KO. Like, on an yeah, EX uppercut? You, yeah, you probably would have won it too, with decision. When do you ever see EX uppercut trade with anything? Only with Sean. That's why nobody uses him. Still a better uppercut than Alex has, though. Hey, I got through like 80% of the tournament with Sean. Which tournament? Um... I think it was Summer Jam? Like two years ago, a year. I beat Chris G's show. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. At Yumicon. When I got to finals in uh, Summer Jam, I was like, fuck that, I can't. I can't be using Sean and then I switched to Ken. But majority of the tournament was just Sean. Sometimes he's got the wrong character. No, no, no. Let's send just oops in the chat. We dropped something. Yeah, that was super right there. Hit that UH pretty late. Been good, Vec. I just found out how to use the challenge bracket, uh, plus got a trophy for the tournament that I plan to host an underground uh, sealer. Can't wait to stream it as well. I'm sorry, what do you mean uh, by that, Demon? Yeah, Vec, you're gonna host a tournament? Where? An underground cellar. Like, in your actual house's underground cellar, or is it the name of a club? In the underground cellar, he's gonna host a tournament. Ah, 
so what time am I gonna come over for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Thank goodbye. <laughs> oh, fuck! Can you imagine having to rage over for dinner? That'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be sick. I'd, bring, I'd have to have plenty of wine, though. Oh, definitely. BYOW. My girlfriend's aunt was like, all you guys have to do is bring some wine. So we got like four bottles of wine. I got two, she got two. Oh, and I got some fucking crack rolls. <laughs> some what kind of rolls? Yeah. Crack. Crack rolls? Yeah. <laughs> it's straight up so addictive. It's literally croissant dinner rolls. That sounds insane. Shoot. Oh my god. Yo, so Whole Foods sells it, but they only sell it once a year for Thanksgiving. Oh, Whole shit. Foods? Yeah. Ah, I wonder if I've got any of those around here. So yeah, it's gonna be in somebody else's cellar. I'm even an underground cellar having a tournament. You got a trophy and everything. For third strike? <laughs> <laughs> Croissant and dinner rolls. That shit is so delicious. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Dude, you, you literally have to put no butter on that shit. You just put it in the oven, get a nice little bit crispy, take it out, and you're good to go. No butter needed. Yeah, I'm so hungry right now. Fuck. <laughs> My bad. I'm like... Can't wait till tomorrow. Ah, oh, turkey. We're gonna not get time for a first attempt between Glassjaw and uh, and Herb today. Glassjaw's kid is a fiend. This is Kmart. I like I can't like my whole strategy is based around car grabbing, and I can't do this walking away the whole time. Sorry, uh, yeah, we got KDF on the chat earlier. I'm not sure if KDF is still here. The uh, car grab. He's not used to, uh, he's not used to, uh, breaking grabs, a car grab, right? or on Oki, I mean, hitting the, the throw buttons when you're waking up. It's Smash Pros for the trophy. Okay, I know you played Smash Demon. I know Rage will be playing that Smash when it comes out. Rage is a Smash fiend. <sighs> Chill. Please enter Unix command. Yeah, I'm 
man's line prompt. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh, I love using Max. Powerful side tournaments, 3S Guilty Gear, big fan of it, and Dragon Ball Z, huh? and last Soul Calibur, six. Go. I don't know, man. I don't know about how to fight Sean as Alex against a certain, you know, up to us, well, up to the, you know, the intermediate level of play, like me and Synapse and Herb Durkin. You know, jumping, jumping at Chun seems like the best thing to do. In fact, it seems very effective. It seems very, very effective. I mean, Chun has to. I, don't know. I think you have to be better at anti-airing. Right? You have to be better at anti-airing. Chun has anti-air options that a lot of Chuns don't utilize. So, like, with Chun, the best, one of the best strategies is just to go ham first round. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to, um, you know, because Chun becomes very, like, strong and powerful when she has meter. Yeah. So you want to try and steal the first round before she gets meter right and then the, and then the second round when she has meter is when you want to play careful but if you play first round careful right you um you give her time to build meter which is not what you want to do right. it's kind of the same concept with yun if you play careful versus yun first round what does he do he sits there and builds meter and then you're fucked. You can activate skinny gin, and then you have to fucking block, and you get you, you end up taking damage. So the best strategy is to try to get, try to steal the first round. So that way, by the second round, when they have super, you can play cautious and all that stuff, and hopefully snag the second round. Right. And if and if you don't snag the second round, then it goes to the third round, and he should have no meter, and you start back again with the round one strategy. I have a lot of trouble applying pressure to Yun, because his buttons, I don't know, he's got pretty strong pokes. I have trouble getting in on him, maybe even more than Chun. At least that Chun I can jump at her, it seems like, whereas Yun I have trouble jumping at him, because he's, he's so, just always full screen, seems like. I don't know. Yeah. I fight Shotokan, he's very strong. He's a very strong dude, so I, that's my... I don't fight any Yon aside from Shotokan. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Shotokan's good. To a certain extent. <laughs> oh, my God. He's good. <laughs> oh, my God. Overpowered character. I got a lot of pepper Shotokan. No, I know Colin for a very long time. We actually took a road trip <laughs> to a very nice arcade way back in the day, probably like 2006, 2007. Which was fucking 10 years ago, which is crazy to think about. Did you ever hear of that arcade TGA? No, I don't think so. Yay. I wonder if Chun can punish EX slash elbow if it hits very last frame. If they block it very last frame. Because that was kind of spaced out, and I felt like maybe she couldn't punish that one. It, seemed, it looked weird. 
I mean, yeah, he was a little bit late on it too, I felt like, but even then, I felt like maybe that one couldn't be punished, because it was so far. I don't think I timed that any different. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It looked like it was. Seems like I got disconnected. Looked like it was a little bit late. Could just be me, though. In any case, I'll have to look at the frame data on that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, TGA. Long story short, this guy, he opened up an arcade, and you ever been to, like, uh, Dave and Buster's? Yeah, no, but I got a pretty good idea what it's like. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. You walk in, they have pinball machines, pizza, all that shit in the front. And then you walk to the back, and there's literally, like, a room, and it had, like, 12 or 13 Japanese head-to-head -head arcades. Wow. And three of them was, yeah, three of them was Third Strike. And they would hold the, um, the SBO pre-qualifiers there sometimes. And his situation was when, when winter... It snowed, and it snowed so much, right, on the roof, that the roof caved in. Oh, shit, that sucks. And the whole place got flooded, and he didn't have flood insurance. No! So, yeah, he was done. That sucks. Man. Yeah. Life can be so cruel. <sighs> Fucking so bad. I was able to experience it, and it was an experience, I must say. I think that punishing Alex's EX slash elbow is harder than some people give it credit for. I mean, with Chun's Super 2. Because my friend, it wasn't Decoy, it was... Maybe it was Decoy. We were trying to practice it together. I was playing Alex, he was playing Chun, and he just kept missing it and missing it. He's, you know, he's not he's not a weak player. I think that, you know, you can definitely practice it and get it down consistently, but... It's probably harder than I feel like it is. I used to fight a lot of really strong Chuns all the time. What, the dash elbow? Yeah, like punishing EX slash elbow with Super 2. Oh, really? You can? You didn't know that? No, I do not. That's actually. pretty common knowledge, in my opinion, I thought. Maybe because I'm an Alex player, I'm biased. What's the, the negative part of that? I don't know, but yeah, it's... You can... Yeah, Alex's EX slash elbow is not safe against Chun if she has Super. Hmm. That is definitely not safe versus Ken if he has Super. Yeah, same with Ken. Ooh. Thanks, Venka. I did not know that. Oh, fuck. A little bit early there. I, I gotta go look now. Where the See? fuck is my shit? That's a hard... That's not hard. It's harder than it looks. That looked like it was a good punish to me, but it gets tighter than it looks, man. Get that punish. Yeah, I used to, I'm not sure who I was fighting back in the day. Who was I fighting that was Chun all the time? But, man, I got that punish so many times, I thought it was easy. It ain't easy, clearly. I respect Synapse highly. And he's having trouble punishing it. Wonder how many frames of leeway you have. Fighters ready. Engage. Oh, it was impossible to block that. That was impossible to block. How dare you hit Brigham? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oof. Ticking to car grab is so much better than ticking to power bomb, man. Why am I fucked around with this power bomb? Car grab comes out so much faster. If they jump out of it, it's no big deal. I mean, it's still kind of a big deal. It still sucks to be in that situation, but... Car grab is so much greater than power bomb. I don't know. I've been, I've been kind of meditating about that straight, Jack. I've been meditating lately about that. And power bomb has its uses, but it's, I have to think of it like an edge case. Right? Not like uh, bread and butter. Go for it. Regular car grab is safer. Yeah. Wow, I just came into some massacre. Yeah, I'm getting, getting some pretty, pretty confident wins right now. I don't know what it is about Synapse's Chun. I think that Synapse's Chun is just not defensive enough. He's not blocking. He's not blocking my jumping, you know, my jump ins. He's having trouble anti airing them. So he's, he's just getting, he's hitting buttons and I'm getting my jumping fears a lot. That's kind of how I think when I fight Chun. I just kind of try and jump in fierce and hope. And hope for the best. Hope that she hits a button, basically. So if I get the jumping fierce, it's so much damage. Yeah, that shit, that shit hurts. It's a lot of stun and a lot of damage. I'm getting a lot of stun against uh, against uh, Synapse for that same reason. Yo, I can't beat Kmart CR. <laughs> it's too strong. He dropped that sucks. Guy's got he's got good he's got good instincts. I feel like he's understands things about the game that I wish I understood sooner in my life, that's for sure. Not just about this game, but about fighting games in general. This is my last matchup. Hope Rage beats my ass. We can watch Rage fight some guys before we call it quits here. Man, I missed my stomp. I could have stomped through that. I must have hit it late. I can stomp through that button. Are you ready? Go. Right, 
Whoa! What the fuck was that? Oh man, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, I couldn't anti air the way I expected to. Oh god. It's not safe. I didn't have charge. Look at my EXs. Those are all supposed to be EXs. I mean, they all hit, so I guess I saved meter there. Sometimes I want an EX slash elbow, and I get the, the wrong slash elbow, but they try to parry the EX timing, so the regular one works. It's so much slower. They're a lot slower. You can kind of mix them up a little bit with that, maybe. Possibly. Kind of. I mean, the problem is that the... Uh, I don't know, how unsafe are they? They're probably not that unsafe, right? Against most of the cast, they don't have bar. Watch a few more fights here, guys, and we're gonna call it a night and move on to some uh, Mega Man Legends. we got the corner. The blocks from Makoto, let's see from Makoto, from Habuki. Look up uppercuts, that's the thing you have to respect. Gets the upgrade. Courtney Miller. Wow, good spacing on that. Holy shit. Look at that, it actually reached. A really strong tick grab, totally has. Too bad it doesn't do a lot. I mean, it does a pretty good stun damage. Well, it's neutral one anyway. His jumping fierce has so much block stun, he can walk up really far and grab you before you can really do ejection on it. Good parry in the air. No, nice delay. It wasn't a combo though. That would've been sick if it was. Nice parry on wake up. Got the close roundhouse. Got a launch, but no combo again. He can, he can juggle that. There you go. Oh, that's not that punishable. A little bit late on the punish. Interesting. Punish this. Can okay, a little air combo? Oh, that was weird how that whiffed. I'm surprised by that. It's a deceptively small uh, air hitbox. Ain't like a uh, Sean's wheel kick. Very, yeah, hits Rimish in front of her. Not so much above her. What's up, Bowens? What the fuck what, dude? Surprised to see Synapse playing some, uh... Some of I am, kind of. That's not safe. Nice punish there, put it in the corner. Ooh, dashes through! Okay, nice combo there from Rage. Ooh, wow. Didn't take the bait there. Punish this. Okay, well, better than nothing, I guess. Hope he hits a button there. Try to delay it so he's trying to try and dash up or something. But Rage ain't no fool. Nice combo! Oh, nice trade! I like that. I like that. Surprised he didn't go through the rows entirely, though. There you go. Not a bad match. So Bones passed out with the stream open. Are you okay, Bones? Alright, feeling alright, man? Hope you didn't pass out at your desk. Maybe you got your phone open, huh? I start my new job in like 10 hours. That's the way you're trying to adjust your sleeping patterns, right? I'll be fine, says. Okay. This guy might have passed out of my desk. What's up, a muffin? Get some rest, muffin. Don't pass out at your desk, dude. Like a savage. Easy cooking, not huh, tomorrow. Basic type shit. That caffeine crash, right? You had caffeine earlier, now you're on the, the, the low. Ooh, Mrs. Perry, I think. 
Fruit to three. Uh, yeah. Are you online, Street Jack? And we can do that if you want. Before we end the stream here. That could be fun. Hopefully the connection's not too bad. Let's go, Street Jack. Remind me what your handle is. Get a good rest, Bones. Cheers, homeboy. BKD Coffee Dad. BKD Coffee Dad. We'll play this first of three, and I'm gonna call it tonight, guys. Guys, as usual, if you enjoy, hang up, or keep the channel on, and check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash think about even a buck is a huge help, with along with your bigger channel more stable in the long term. Helps me buy groceries and gas and puts tacos in my belly. It's very helpful, guys. The uh, Patreon support, even a dollar. Even a dollar is a huge help. Not just in terms of financially, but also in terms of, you know, the moral support. Feeling like, you know, every dollar is kind of like somebody likes the channel enough to support it. Maybe we're doing the right thing here on this channel. It helps build my confidence more than you guys would actually think, I think. I feel like me, you're totally broke, right? You enjoy the channel a lot. You want to help out. You're not exactly rolling in dough. Maybe you're uh, a part-time worker or you're a student or you're working full-time with a house payoff and a family to feed. Trust me, I understand, man. I know the broke struggle. Help for free in that case. Get in the chat, come say hi. It makes it a lot more fun for everybody here. Also, you can help for free by following on Twitch. Tell your friends we're here. And save clips of funny stuff, scary stuff, salty stuff, photo finishes, sick parries, etc. That all goes my break screen, guys. And I go on my break. I put break screens, got clips on there. Makes it a bit more lively while I'm gone. Also, you can uh, uh, share them on Facebook and Twitter to promote the channel. They're also available to promote on Discord at venkabot.com. I'm kind of proud of the little community we have over there. Just go, uh, Get the invite at venkabot.com if you want to be on our Discord server. It's kind of cool. I like it anyway. Um, we're on YouTube, guys, at youtube.com slash venkabotarchive. That's youtube.com slash venkabotarchive. Or just search for venkabot on there. You'll find me. I'm the only guy there uh, by that name, venkabot, on YouTube. We've got all of our past streams archived there. Some of them, the newer stuff's not there yet, publicly, but it's all available privately. Some of it's only for Patreon subscribers, though, because it's not quite ready for prime time. I have to kind of tag them and title them and give them descriptions and stuff. Otherwise, they're kind of just a raw footage with a bunch of random numbers and letters in the title. And uh, it's a kind of a lot of work to, uh, I'm sorry, to search for this guy. Good games, Finkabot. Good games, dude. Have a good night, Rage. Always a pleasure yes. having you. Yes, always. Always a pleasure being on the show. Happy Thanksgiving, dude. Yes, same to you. Take care. Yeah, good night, man. Peace. Your rage is so sick, dude. I had the pleasure of meeting this guy when I was in New York City. Bubba's like, I love you, Rage. Okay, it's got the invite. I'm gonna add to get my friends list after this. Yeah, YouTube's kind of cool. It's got all kinds of cool long plays. That's the third strike on there. We got about, what, like uh, 400 episodes of 3S on there right now? Each one about two hours long, fully commentated, 1080p, 60 frames, organized painstakingly. All my games are, you know, all my vid uh, videos are organized by game and playlist as well as by genre. Easily find games by genre and by whatever you want. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna try to add this guy while I'm waiting here, I guess. Can I do that? Too close to a table. That's why he. That's why he dipped. I think. That's why he uh, lost his connection that one time. Let's see here. Friends list. I want to uh, send a friend request. Uh, I want to send one. Like just search. B K D. Coffee dad. Let's pray to the lag gods. Lag gods, be kind. We're going coast to coast. I hope so too, dude. Sometimes it's okay. I think maybe I booted him on accident because uh, he tried to join while I was in that stupid menu. This game's so glitchy. Yeah, Straight Jack and told me he's a friend of yours, Glass Jaw. Is that true or is he fibbing? Just don't lag. I'll try, dude. I'm gonna try not to lag as best as I can. BKD, it's a B, it's up here, if he accepted. He hasn't accepted yet, though. Thank you for the follow, my fellow. Subscribe, thank you, dude. That tier one sub, appreciate that, man. That's very generous. I know that, that five bucks ain't free. I know you put your blood, sweat, and tears into that. Hey, we're friends now. I put your blood, sweat, and tears on that five bucks. I remember back when I was working, you know, 40 hours a week at, you know, Walmart. Really gave me appreciation for... When someone says, you know, here's, you know, five bucks, go get some, go get a sandwich. It's like, man, that five bucks is, is some real shit. He don't lie. Huh? He loves arcade theory also. Hey. Look at that. It's pretty buttery. At least I'm a character select. 
Oh, what in the fuck? You shit post here enough to give back, I think? I don't know, Muffin. I don't shit post all that much. Tiny bit of lag. I got a little lag spike there. Oh yeah, a little bit laggy, but it could be worse. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, it could, definitely could be worse. Ooh, got him. Could definitely be worse. How did I get out of that? Uh, I feel like I wouldn't be able to get that dash grab if not for that lag there. Sick combo. Hit out of the air, that sucks. And she can pick up super as well. Ooh, nice! Got so lucky there, just mashing. Pizza, 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 that's my favorite. Hi, fight this guy. Like, I actually fight him, I'm just kind of mashing. It's working all right, but I, mean, I feel more confident if I actually had a plan. Oh, that's bad. Damn, got me. Yeah, I don't know if this is the... I don't know if I any Elena players. I don't really understand how to deal with her. How do I fight her for real? Like, I'm just waking up stomping a lot and basically doing bullshit. Ooh, I traded with that? Hyper Bomb beats Elena, I don't know about that. Prepare to strike now. Got 
got lucky there. Not gonna get ticked. He's not gonna get ticked. Stomper fat ass is her. Yeah, I don't have stomps like uh, like um, Big Red Dog does, like in neutral. You have to partition those. You just got teleported behind her into her leg somehow. Dan Okara. You got me. Good games, dude. Do you ever stump for a block EX elbow slash? Not really, no. Okay, I'm gonna call the night guys for third strike. Come back on, uh, on uh, Monday for more third strike. I will see you guys then. Peace out. Good games, dude. Good games, Herb. That's what I'm saying, Big Man Legends, dude. Okay. Wow, it's basing on that grab. Yeah, thank you, Wallow Wizard, for your contribution, dude. I can beat the game tonight, uh, Faust, if... It's done. We've got a round here. If uh, Comcast yeah, doesn't bone me. Blitz. Comcast's been fucking me up lately at around 1.30 in the morning. Hey, if I can be online all night, then I can beat the game tonight. But Comcast has been fucking me over at 1.30 very often lately.
Black Spike. Oh, damn. Oh, he could have fucking done that. Oh, he's setting spacing out correctly. That's it! Yo, Big Nasty takes it! Oh my god! Exactly, Synapse, yeah. yeah. They told me that uh, it was scheduled maintenance. I was like, can I see this schedule? They were like, no. I'm like, then what is the difference between scheduled maintenance and a regular outage if I can't see the schedule? 